Streamers are overwhelmed. We can see that in the rise of churning and the number of people looking to cut costs on TV. We also see it in viewers' comments that they struggle to know which service is best for them. People are confused not just about which services to sign up for, but increasingly where to access them. As the streaming space matures, the priority is changing from what service to subscribe to to what service can put all my content in one convenient place. Enter streaming service aggregators, apps that seek the best way to combine services for you. In this video, we cover five of the best apps or platforms that try to put all streaming services in one package for you. We will briefly cover each one and say who it's best for. Let's dive into our best option for integrating your local networks into one place, Fire TV. Fire TV Recaps used to be an awesome way to watch and record content from your local channels right within the Fire TV home screen. Unfortunately, Amazon stopped supporting the device. However, as we covered in our video on how to favorite channels in Fire TV, there is a workaround. By using the live TV sources, you can still get your favorite channels from supported streaming services in the live guide on the home screen. Our tip for locals is to use Sling Freestream with an Air TV device to integrate your locals. You can watch our video on how to record locals in Sling for more on that. Beyond locals though, a reason we like Fire TV as an integrator is that it puts all your favorite streaming services in one place. And if you're a Prime member, you can extend that convenience through channels in the Prime Video app. These channels integrate content from streaming services and put them within the app. It also integrates your billing into one biller, Amazon. Yeah, having one place to see what you're paying for the streaming services you subscribe to and cancel them or sign up for others is an easy way to stay on top of what you're spending on streaming. But there are some knocks against Fire devices as well. Many find the homepage cluttered and too heavy on promoting Amazon content. Our next solution for putting your streaming services in one place and through one billing party is Roku. The downside to Fire TV is that its home screen can feel cluttered and overwhelming. Roku takes a bit of a different approach. Its simple, streamlined interface makes it easy to access your streaming services, and a Roku TV puts your locals right on the home screen, providing full integration. In addition to free channels, Roku Pay lets you sign up for and manage streaming service subscriptions within Roku. While centralized billing is available with Roku streaming sticks, local integration is not. For that, you'll need a Roku TV. Still, if you use Roku now or you like the streamlined interface and aren't currently paying for any of your services through it, doing so may provide added convenience and help you stay on top of your streaming budget. The simplicity of Roku is great, but what if you want recommendations from what you watch across streaming services served to you in one place? That's what our next aggregator, the TiVo Stream 4K, delivers. What sets this platform apart from other streaming subscription aggregators is its universal guide. This guide provides rows of recommendations and recently watched titles based on your viewing history across more than two dozen popular services. It's easy to see clearly how to watch anything and whether or not an additional cost is associated with it. You can pick up on items you were watching right from the home screen rather than having to first sign into an app on the platform. You can also hide streaming services from the Universal Guide without deleting the app. This is a convenient way to streamline the guide to make it as relevant and customized to you as possible. Think of it like Fire TV's Live Guide, but better organized. You can learn more about TiVo Stream 4K in our review video of the device. TiVo also provides a score designed to show you how good of a match any title is for you based on your viewing habits. This is a bonus over Fire TV. Amazon owns Fire TV and creates original content, therefore some of its recommendations seem biased in its favor. TiVo doesn't create its own content, which makes its recommendations seem more genuinely based on your true habits and preferences. We'd like to see TiVo integrate local channels through an antenna and the ability to record things across streaming services directly from the Universal Guide to further enhance its value. And we'd like to see TiVo add the ability to pay for streaming services through the TiVo interface to centralize billing. That would take it to more of a true one-stop shop. Our next aggregator, YouTube Primetime Channels, does allow billing and is the best option for heavy YouTube users. YouTube aims to be the single place you go for everything you watch. 
Its primetime channels feature aims to do that easily by integrating paid subscriptions into the YouTube interface via the Movies and TV tab on the left menu under Subscriptions within YouTube. With primetime channels, you can browse, purchase, and watch TV shows, movies, and events all within YouTube. It's also where YouTube will deliver NFL Sunday Ticket in the fall. Convenience comes in not having to switch between the services you've purchased as primetime channels. And once you subscribe to a channel, you can watch it within YouTube across devices on up to three screens at once. You can learn more about primetime channels in our review of the feature. Our final streaming service aggregator to feature is the Samsung Smart Hub, which is best for those who don't want a streaming device. You don't need a streaming device to access the services you want to subscribe to. In most cases, you can use a smart TV to access them and avoid annoying dongles altogether. And Samsung is one of the best. As we covered in our Samsung Smart Hub review video, Samsung aims to make its TVs the one place you go to access everything you watch. It integrates local channels into its extensive guide of free streaming channels. Its Smart Hub also allows you to access more than 800 paid and free streaming apps. You can use one remote to access everything you want to watch, which is convenient. This is what some of our family members prefer to do. If you already have a Samsung Smart TV, it may be all you need to centralize your streaming activity. Unfortunately, there is no central billing aspect, so you will still have to track your streaming expenses separately. And unfortunately, no one aggregator has risen above the rest to be able to put everything you watch in one place with a centralized billing feature and a channel guide that seamlessly integrates content from all your services. However, we know it's something YouTube, Apple, and Amazon are all working toward. Hopefully, we'll see some progress that will help make the streaming experience truly streamlined and easy for cord cutters. Well, that does it for this video. Which of these aggregators do you prefer? How do you keep on top of your expenses and avoid feeling overwhelmed? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.